My friend Cory told me he wanted to get into wheeling Toyotas, and of course, this got me interested. So I jumped on Kijiji and Facebook Marketplace and started looking. This got me thinking, what can we build that is cheap and strong enough to withstand some punishment on the rocks? There are many ways you can go about getting into and building up a Toyota wheeling project. You could do what I did and spend four to six thousand dollars and get into a stock 90s Toyota that is mostly clean as far as the body goes. Um, but then you need to spend another couple of thousand dollars beefing it up with solid axles, lockers, tires, and so on. And of course, you can run IFS. It's plenty strong and is all that most people will need. But we are building a budget rock crawler. So solid axles are the way to go for cheap beef. And another option, you know, would be to buy something older. Something like a first gen pickup or a 4Runner with a factory solid axle. Problem with these is they could be really expensive if they're clean or ridiculously rotten to the point of needing massive frame repairs or body repairs, and that's if you can even find one for sale. They seem to be getting more and more rare as people are pulling the solid axles from them, the transfer cases from them for, you know, <laughs> their builds. So after looking through pages and pages and pages of people's really expensive junk, I found it. A 1993 Toyota pickup, already solid axle swapped with a spool in the rear. So we grabbed the trailer, drove to Creston, and looked at it. Unfortunately, we found the blurry Facebook pictures hid a lot. The solid axle swap was done with a do-it-yourself kit. There are some very questionable shims under the front leafs. I don't trust the shock hoops at all. The body was very, very rotten. The front fenders are smashed and chopped. So this was starting to look a lot like a bigger project than we were expecting. So we offered the guy 1800 bucks and he accepted. Score. So this is my buddy Corey's 1993 Toyota pickup. We just picked the thing up for $1,800. And uh, it's got a few problems. The box right here behind me is actually from a Toyota pickup originally. When we got it, it was on a Ford Ranger and they had these wheel arches cut out. So we bought the Ford Ranger, peeled the box off, took the Ford Ranger to the dump, put these wheel arches back on this truck, and uh, now this box is going back on another Toyota. So the deck is on and it looks fantastic. The first order of business now that the deck is on, there is these really, really, really sketchy shims right there. And those are tilting the axle forward, which is not something we want. And they're just really freaking sketchy and they look like they're gonna fall out of there. So those are coming out. Boom, the shims are gone, the pinion angle is correct, and that looks one hell of a lot less sketchy. And then finally, with all that done to the truck, it was time to take it for its first test drive. And on the trails, it did fantastic. It flexed just as well as we expected it to. The tires rub a little bit in the rear, we're gonna have to raise the deck, but there is one major flaw. On the road, as soon as you hit a bump, it got severe death wobble. It felt like we were gonna die. Easy fix though. We learned that the tie rods and the high steer are really, 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 really shot. So we're gonna replace those. We're also gonna replace the leaf spring bushings and go from there. And we are back. This is day three working on the budget solid axle Toyota build here. To fix that death wobble issue, we've got all new leaf spring bushings. We got all new tie rods for the high steer. And so the front end should be nice and tight. Last night in the dark, we took off the old rotting front fenders, put on these brand new jobber ones from Lordco, and they look so good. They cleaned up the look of this thing so much. Not only that, we cut out all the rust and bondo from the bottom of this thing. We're gonna put some tube steel down there and, and fix the sheet metal where we can. And uh, yeah.
Luckily, we got a whole bunch of sheet metal to use now from this box. I got the first patch panel done here, cut off the bottom, and it's looking really nice. Uh, we're gonna put a piece of tube steel up to meet the bottom to close it off, and uh, I think it'll have a really, really good look. As far as the front end goes, the leaf springs, I'm assuming, we were assuming that there are reliefs up, or rears up front in this sink. Uh, so we got the trail gear bushing kit, which, um, they're all wrong. The frame tube is some homemade frame tube, so the, the, the bushing doesn't work. The leaf spring eyelets are different than what we thought they would be. Um, so these must be like something rears or something, I don't know. The high steer is 100% off. That's all good, the tie rods will be good. So uh, yeah, let's get back to work. The leaf springs on this build really decided to give us a lot of trouble. Turns out the solid axle swap was done with some S10 leaves, which we had no idea from the beginning. And all those trail gear bushings we bought were completely useless. Lordco couldn't get us the bushings we needed to use the S10 leaves, and frankly, we wanted to go to Toyota Leafs anyway, so we spent hours this day just looking and piecing together what leaves we could from the people I knew that might have leaves. And we ended up making two halfway decent Toyota packs and being able to utilize the trail gear bushings that we bought. Toyota leaf springs are now officially installed. It's all buttoned up, except for the high steer. We gotta put that on. But it's now time to lower it for the first time and uh, see what the new ride height is. Oh yeah, that is nice. It's beautiful and level. And you know what? That wheel well, like that tire, you can tell it's pushed forward, but that's not bad at all. No, it looks stock. <laughs> it looks stock, exactly. That's not bad. All right, and we are looking at the final weekend of working on the budget build. Last weekend, what you missed off camera is we actually got the deck raised on this thing. Corey made like inch and a half, two inch spacers and yeah, lifted the deck. It actually looks really good. There's tire clearance now, which is what we wanted. And you can put even bigger tires on it. Unfortunately, once we were ready to test drive this thing last weekend after the front end was all buttoned up and stuff, we learned the alternator was toast. So we had to put this project on hold a whole other week so Corey could afford to buy a new alternator to throw on this thing so we could finally actually take it for a test drive. All right, and that is the budget solid axle swapped Toyota pickup build. This thing is actually pretty awesome. It flexes like crazy. Those bastard packs we got were absolutely perfect for that. 
and uh, get this all together with the deck, the whole truck, the brand new fenders, brand new marker lights, whole bunch of front end stuff from low range. It only costed about 2,500 bucks. So I definitely think that counts as a budget build. My entire solid axle swap kit from Trail Gear costed dang close to what that was. We're gonna continue in the trails. If you like this stuff, guys, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.